Hey guys, that one Brony258 here, back with more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got here and or to what is it, Orberg City? I already <laughs> I already forgot the name of this town. Go to the town map real quick. Orberg City, I was right. And now we are going to go find the mine for the uh, guy. Also, someone has mentioned in my first episode that there are frame rate issues. I am aware of this. Sadly, uh, my computer sucks. So, unless I can find a surefire way to fix this, I am unable to. So, for now, I apologize. Hopefully, it's not too distracting. And hopefully, sometime in the future, I get a better computer. <laughs> anyway, we are actually in the cave right now. And we're fighting Geodudes. And again, I'm glad I have a fast forward button. Makes random encounters like this a lot or less horrible. And as you can see, we are in the mine. And we have to find the dough. We can't go that way. So we go this way instead. Ooh. Found a potion. Speaking of which, uh. I was. Oh, wait. I didn't want to check my bag. I want to check my Pokemon. No. Charging is at full health. I thought, uh. She took a little bit of damage there. Hey, that's who we're looking for. Uh, okay, stand back and watch this. Using the energy machine rock, smash. Oh my god, Fallen Rocks become smashed. If you had the gym badge, you could do it too. But but I'm the gym leader, so you can't. Bye. Is there anything over here? Oh, there is. Escape rope. I'll just use that right now. And, yeah, there's nothing that I... Oh, a key bag. I didn't want to use a key item. I wanted to use my bag. I wanted to use my bag so I can use my escape rope. And... Vaminos. Back to the gym. I think my Pokemon are good enough. We defeated a whole bunch of Geodudes, so... I would think we're good enough. Well, let's go find out. So we're gonna go take down a uh, Orberg or whatever his name is. Also, look at this gym layout. Look how easy it is. <laughs> and gym leader. Rourke. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with the rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to do this, but it's good, it's good, it's good, I don't care. Versus Rourke. And we are at our first gym leader. Ooh, look at that pose. So he's gonna send out a level 12 Geodude first, and I have a level 12 charge him. So, let's see if we can do a little bit of damage. Now that I think about it, I actually should have uh, leveled up my other Pokemon too, because I think they're still only like level 4 or 5. Which will not be good if charge him dies. Might happen. Yeah, that that is a lot of damage. I'm just gonna attack and ex accept the loss at this point. So I'm not... All right, go for roar. Oh yeah, he's got the stealth rock. Tackle. Oh, he's just gonna use a potion. That's cool. All right. Clearly, I have to do a little bit of grinding. Yeah, I was completely not prepared for this. Alright. With that said, I will be right back after like an hour of grinding or something. So, I will see you guys in just a bit. So, uh, while I was uh, doing some farming, Charchim is evolving into... Uh, Monferno. Monferno. Oh, and he wants to learn Mock Punch, okay. Which move should be deleted? Probably Taunt. <laughs> Look at this. Listen to this beautiful music playing right now. Doesn't doesn't that just sound so good? Please, please, please. Okay, back back to work. 
back to work. And we are back. Uh, it's been a few minutes, as you can probably tell by the clock. Uh, let's look at my stats real quick. I did get uh, Lystar to level 10, Furor is level 11, and Charchim has evolved into a Monferno and is level 14. Uh, Lystar learned two new moves, I think it was Quick Attack and Wing Attack, so we actually have a flying move and a quick move now, so that's good. Uh, Furor learned Charge, it really doesn't do an oh, wrong button. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, I think it just builds uh, special defense. Which, uh, yeah, it also raises special defense and powers electrical attacks, but I don't really have any other electrical attacks. And then, of course, Charchim is now Monferno, and she knows fire, or Mock Punch. So, Mock Punch is probably going to be good for uh, rock types. So, let's go uh, try this again. Ready for you this time, Rourke. As much as I want to fast forward this, this song just sounds horrible. I mean, like... Wow. That was quick. Let me charge him. Come on. That's one. Onyx. I'm gonna stick with uh, the person who knows a fighting type move. It's probably gonna be the most effective. Using potions, so I don't care. Try to get another level, that's good. Check the XP share. And Kranidos. Oh, oh, okay. No way, don't give up. Oh, too late. You're already dead. Player defeated Rorik. What? That can't be. I didn't read the last line. Something about Pokemon. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single badge. Oh, that's tough. You were strong. And I was weak. Steve received the coal badge from Rock. Having coal badge means you can know the move. Rock smash after battle. Take this too. It's probably Rock Throw. Rock Throw? Stealth Rock, ooh. It'd be good if I was playing, you know, competitively. Can I just walk past these guys? Now? Yes, I can. I'm out of here. But I don't have any rock types on my team, so um, I'm probably gonna have to go get one, aren't I? Because if it's anything like any Pokemon game, it's like, hey, the next part requires you to have that one HM. That's something I never liked in Pokemon, where it's like. You need, like, an HM slave, because HMs can't be deleted. Let's just... Let's just go... Actually, no, there's... There's rock Pokemon up here, too. And I think we actually have to go this way. Because, if I remember correctly, there was... Something we had to rock smash over here. Whoa! Toro! Oops, Steve, you got the gym badge, huh? Return your city to the next place to give the baby badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but we can't go with their vesicle. I made my team battle and tough and hard, so it wasn't a waste of time. So I'm gonna go back to two places and head to return your city. Let me guys. Nine, eight, five, who? We got time to count. Up. Jesus, Toro. Just wound up just a little too tight. Yeah, I think there's something up here. Yeah, I need rocks. I'm actually get up there. Is there any Pokemon? I'm actually hoping for Psyduck. I'm not hoping for Psyduck. It'd be nice to have at least like one rock type on my team. Not usually bad. I already have a winged Pokemon on my team. Let's just look around for a few more seconds. More do bats. Like, this is the first time I've actually seen Zubats in this game. Because all I was running into when I was, like, farming over here was Geodudes. And the occasional Machop. Come on. Okay, that's enough. I'm sick and tired of seeing you, Zubat. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.
Ooh, what's this? I found a repel. That was probably the one I like missed earlier. Oh, and another one. Found an next defend. Whatever, I'll battle you, bud. Buddy. Jinx, huh? I have my own Jinx, but I don't even need him. You know he's cute. Get out of my sight, punk. Oh, it's Looker. Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Oh, I don't want a pal pad right now. Looker! I don't have any friends who play this game because this is a emulator. It's, it's like physically impossible. Oh, things are going up over here. Now, 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 now. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time of your assistant. Ah, Steve. Well, I was a Pokemon. Wow, you're really asking me about my gym and my Pokedex while you're getting held ransom. I'm like, it's nature to you. Oh, Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What we're saying is we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why why, bleh, why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. 1. Don't loiter about for no good reason. 2. Don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. 3. If you don't if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be imitated. <laughs> Still dyslexic after all these years. Don't think you've... Number four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Number five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? Oh, jeez. Sick burn, Professor. E, e. you had to make this personal. You have forced our hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids... You, you kids, get give these thugs a... Whatever, just... I understand we're taking down Team Plasma. Also, this is Team Plasma. I should have said that first. Uh, yeah. Or not Team... Oh, I'm an idiot. Not Team Plasma, Team Galactic. Uh, this is the crime syndicate of this game. Jeez, I don't know why I said Team Plasma. That's the other game. Wow, they're going directly for me. And I flinched because they use fake out. And I'm going to die. And yeah, that's one. That's for Roar. Uh, yeah. So there's just this crime syndicate. And if you, for some reason, didn't know, the guy we met at the lake earlier, Cyrus, is the leader. Because, you know, he has a weird outfit and hair like Rick from Rick and Morty. And obviously, that must mean he's evil. Also, these are two new Pokemon, Glameow and Stunky. One is just an ugly plat. Plat. The other is an ugly... The one... I'm just never going to talk anymore. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do... We shall do so because Team Galactic is beneficial to all. Benevolent. I said beneficial. Those are like... Oh my god, Don, shut up. Benevolent and the other word I said. I can't even remember. You know what? I'm just going to end this episode, like, right now. It is Don and Rowan shut up. They're probably talking about how I have skill, gym badges, counter Pokemon, Pokedex, research, Pokemon Pokedex. Take care now. Alright, perfect. I swear to god, if Toro interrupts me. What was this? Jubilife TV, I like to have... What? I got a fashion case. Oh, yeah, I forgot. In this game, they have the beauty competitions. We might do that later. 
but not right now because I I need to go like oh jeez hmm isn't that fun remember remember when this was a thing in Pokemon before the the fifth generation I think it was fixed it. It was the fifth generation got rid of it, and then the sixth generation, like, you didn't take damage outside of battle even if you were poisoned. Or something like that, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, that is all for this episode. Uh, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will try going to Eternia City and see if we can find the second gym leader, or, you know, if I want to, or if I can even find it, we will take p part in a beauty competition since we just got the fashion case. I'll see what I can do, and I'll see what we can do next time.